When Americans say period, they mean like no exceptions or qualifications. So you can't say something period, then add a qualifier to that statement. Anyway, um, <laughs> mine wasn't at launch. Mine was nowhere near launch. Um, yeah, Jim's skull absolutely works. Um, right. Let's have a look. What does he have? Mighty blow. A thrower and a goblin. Holy shit. That's um, 2 and 0, though. So fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, hello, hello, Jam Toast. Yeah, the uh, the gym's gym skulls working. Yeah, maybe you need a refresh or something, but it's come up on the on the stream and that. Yeah, mine mine was pretty far after launch. Sage was like, Sage was like fucking. It played about fucking eighty games before I even started. Before I even played Blood Bowl two. To be honest, maybe even more than eighty. And Lupak as well. You know, Lupak had his had his chaos where people were people were leaving from from playing too many games on Lupak's team when I was like pretty much starting. So. Oh, Dr. Mama Bosco. Oh, I, need to, I need to keep checking on my Gmails now. There might be exciting cross-out developments. Do you know what? There might be, there might actually be. If anybody, I feel sorry for anybody who takes, takes heed of that. Wow, two vampires. <laughs> oh, it's literally the worst guy I've ever seen in my life. For anything, it's gotta be. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. <laughs> this won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good command, isn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Two vamps. <laughs> yeah. When I when I started playing Blood Bowl two, that was obviously not Blood Bowl. And Fashbinder as well. Make sure. Make sure you watch Fashbinder, who streams all the time. <laughs> I guess I guess he just doesn't want to. Um, I guess he just doesn't want to uh, stream him chopping wood and being Lupak's bitch. But he should, shouldn't he? He should stream himself being Lupak's bitch. He never fucking. He never streams. <laughs> Does he fast? He stopped streaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea, I'll say. It. Whatever you do, don't pick two don't pick less than three vampires. You can go three vampires, Ducky. Um to be fair, now to be fair, this is real talk here. When I made a vampire team on Fumble, um I had three vampires. But the reason for me having three vampires was this was in Living Room Book 4. And in Living Room Book 4, you basically had to start with 9 Fan Factor. So I started with 9 Fan Factor. <laughs> right. So that's why I had 3. And then, and then Sage reckons you should start with 3 by choice. Despite the fact that the only, the only uh, team he's ever, the only vampire team he's ever used started with 4. So maybe he's just done it to trick trick noobs to get easier wins maybe that's his idea I don't know I don't know why anybody would recommend two fucking vampires the fuck is that yeah it, Edge Force King died nice 
Nice record. Is he taking the piss? No, well, I, I did look, to be fair, when I had three... When I had three vampires... Um... Everybody else was playing Living Room Book 4 as well. So everybody else, you know, had kind of a, a weakened team. So there is that as well. You know, every, everyone had... Everyone had the same kind of... Um, the same kind of deal with uh, having to start with the van, 9 Fan Factor. Basically, everybody started with 9 Fan Factor in Living Room Book 4. So... But it wasn't terrible having three vampires. It wasn't awful. Like, you could do it if you were hyper-conservative. You could. You know, in the interest of being fair, you know, this is the thing. This is the thing, Dougie. In the interest of, like, you know, being fair to people, you could have... You could have three. You could get away with three. I wouldn't recommend anybody starting with three. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, but I think you could get away with three. But I, you couldn't, yeah, you, two is n absolutely fucking nonsensical. That's ludicrous. Should have hit him with Mighty Blow, shouldn't I? Fuck. Would have been knocked out. But I do want to risk the bonehead, seeing as he was uh, basing two guys with guard. And, you know, he's got block as well. Didn't want to, didn't want to fail the block. Punished, punished with would have been a knockout. <laughs> Fair enough, nomadic jam. Yeah, two is awful. Two is nonsense. I mean, two is literally makes no sense whatsoever. It's unbelievable. I'll, I'll, I'll take what Tarabarala and uh, the provocateur do. Thanks very much. Man, they don't play them. They don't. They don't play vamps in black box. Oh well, no thing he did, didn't he? Taro Barales was in black box. I think starting with four or five is. I would. I. I personally would start with five vampires, um, because you can just restart if you don't win your first game. So, you know, that's that. That's the key thing, isn't it? Oh wow, Pete W is going to Team Fantastic UK Team Championship in January. I could I could go back to England in January and reform Team Fantastic. Tabletop kings of tabletop because it's a fucking hell of a team. What, what did Provocateur start with? He started with three vampires and four rerolls. Three vampires, four rerolls, and an apple is what he started with. So, yeah. I think three or four. Or five if you're a fucking lunatic. I'd go five and jump that. If I was going to do one. Yeah. Five is what Tara Barala did. Tara Barala is a bit of a fucking man. Just quietly. Put guard in there, that's not bad, is it? And then he has to put the uh, three dice, mighty blow, tackle. Block. Oh, 
I don't even blitz really, do I? That's the thing. Got a GFI to protect the skinks. Gets everyone free, doesn't it? Right, GFI to protect the skinks. Go. Yeah, I would go for. I, I would I would go for. Um but three, you know, provocateur takes three. And provocateur is very, very good. I think Tarabral is too crazy. So if you if you if you slice the lighting between crazy man and conservative man, then yeah, four is fine, isn't it? But obviously five and three both work. F f I think five's not a bad shout for champs ladder. Because you know to keep the team you're going to have to win your like, first two or three games. It wasn't me, Ducky, but I thought it was I thought it was funny when I saw it. I noticed it and thought it was funny, but I I didn't do it. I promise. Ah, oh, give up a mighty bow block. Clever. Really need the crocs to activate this turn, then, eh? Should put him in with the crop instead of out there. Hmm. Protect the skinks. This lad will two dice this lad.
<sighs> Taking a sweet time, isn't he? <laughs> yep. I very much have gone try hard. Well, no, actually, I started with Woody's, didn't I? Which is only two blocks. Woody's number one tries. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, it's obvious that starting with block slash wrestle's good because they're just not going to get it otherwise, are they? Like, I actually think Brett would be one of the best teams in Randall League because. They just start with, they just get block and wrestle on guys, don't they? And otherwise, you, you're just not going to roll it, or you're randomly, you're not going to randomly get more block. So, with having never played in Rando League before, that was my, my instant assessment was, um, Brett's one of the best, starting with eight, eight block slash wrestle. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Pedro. <laughs> VIP Pedro. Jack. Could surf this, uh, this here. This here, uh, oh well. The thrower now is gonna get surfed. Otherwise it's the Black Hawk, isn't it? No, sorry, uh, banned jam toast. I might change it to fucking uh, the other things. Right, push him to there, push him to there, push him to there. If it's a power, it's good, isn't it? Sake. Um, thank you very, very much, Fatin, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I, I fucking followed up by mistake then, so no surf on him. Fuck's sake. Could have put another one in there and then blitz like with a Saurus. The Saurus was the, the Crocs was the plan. But I fucking followed up like an asshole. Um, but yes, thank you very, very much, Fatin. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime and welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Oh man, what an idiot I was. What a stone cold fucking idiot. Losing two orcs and tying. Nurgle, what has gone wrong? <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Squirrel dude, three months. VIP squirrel dude, three months. Wowie, thank you for staying fantastic. And uh, nothing's gone wrong right now. Um, that was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Just quietly. Um, what, what's gone wrong, mostly, is just fucking being getting banged on, isn't it? You can't do a lot if you're banged on. Um, Since Jimmy is a terrible streamer, thank you, Fatten and Squirrel Dude, for the subscriptions. Your support supplies the streamer endless amounts of Donna Kebab. <laughs> I'd, I'd thank them. I'd thank them both, Tony. But, um, yes, thank you very, very much. And uh, he will actually, he will, your support does supply the stream with endless amounts of doner kebabs. My, I'm thinking about having one tomorrow, despite the fact that I should, you know, I'm 
I'm on the old chicken and rice and broccoli. I'm thinking about a fucking donor tomorrow. I did say fuck off, but that was commenting on the game. That was commenting on the game was the fuck off. Uh, I dream of the day when I can chill with F-U-M-B-B-L dice. Yeah, you, it's it's just come true, BZL. Just come true. There you go. Pretty cool, eh? Thank you very much <laughs> for the bits. <laughs> Doing that. It's not, probably not the healthiest thing, is it? Oh, wow, it's just a dodge and two GFIs to two dice the ball. That wasn't clever. I guess I should have been one square up. What's this? You can't fire people in random league. Oh, shit. The kebab is uh, is four euros, and it's um, it's just fucking glorious. Holy shit! All right, you can't find us after my injury. All right, fair enough then. All right, fair enough. I was going to say, I didn't know this was fucking Cripple Cup. No one told me it was fucking Cripple Cup rules. But all right, that's okay then, yeah. As long as you, as long as you don't have to keep injured people. Oh, wow, that was clever, wasn't it? It saved him a GFI on the dodge. Well, I, I would have saved him the dodge. Very clever. He's not bad, this chap. I've played worse, haven't I? Letting him, letting him get that hit in. Deserves to pow and cav the skink, really. He is he is getting the uh, getting the black orc surf this turn now. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Not cycling shit skills. Absolutely. Ah, of course, don't get the fucking surfing. Block with block. Amazing tactics, strategy. Unbelievable. Two died block with block. Setting the world on fire with these strats. Maybe a uh, blitz so that I can re-roll it if it fails. Also, it's a decent push square, isn't it? Fucking risky as fuck, isn't it? Guess I should push him in then, that was done. So still just a dodge. Oh no, he'd have to dodge two or something, so I don't wanna risk activating him, do I? Dodgy, dodgy fucking bollocks this. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah, Tony. Haha, <laughs> I'll bleed, maybe. <laughs> Noob's hit. 
<laughs> Check out this one weird tip to get two vampires on a team. Noobs hate him. What kind of advice is that? Wow! I might like make a guide to being a, a professional UFC fighter, seeing as it's about as ludicrous as <laughs> Sage's vampire guide. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm about as qualified as he is, if, if that's what he's gonna fucking do. Holy shit. Two vampires. I knew he was going to blitz him with him. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Sage advice video. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Because he can't he can't trademark Sage, can he? <laughs> to be fair, there was that UFC fighter that had no legs or something, wasn't there? It was something fucking crazy like that. Unbelievable. Oh god yeah, I'll do a Sage advice team of like eleven hobgoblins. In fact that's what's coming next. Nah, I don't. I wouldn't enjoy eleven hobgoblins, or even nine hobgoblins and two vampires. By eleven. <laughs> Some sage advice. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Fucking <laughs> sage advice. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. Wow, fuck you. <laughs> mm. This is interesting, isn't it? Because the obvious way to chain in would be here, or would be to there, which is occupied. Like, either putting in a guy and blitzing this way or blitzing this way. So I can't chain him to a good square. So this, this devastating baseball maneuver is, uh, is pretty good. Just quietly. So maybe seeing as, um, could put somebody in there and blitz that way and pow him. But then can't really get around that way because of the black orc. So oh no, we could just pow him. Just go for the fish for the pow, eh? Guy, fuck him up, please. Good. Okay, fair enough. Would have brought an armor if his armor ten. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think there was a blitz free. Well, hope for the pal. Hope for the pal on the blitz, wasn't it? I think it was the best. It was the best chance. Now he is going to mighty blow blitz. But it's not the end of the world, is it? I put these two next to each other, hoping that he'd try to base them both and therefore not blitz one. Um, <laughs> but you know, we'll see. I imagine he'll blitz one with Mighty Blow. Obviously, not activating the Crocs to risk him. Don't want to risk him boneheading or anything. Yeah, so it did. It didn't. It did bait him into a risky move. That's good. He did go for the mighty bow blitz. <laughs> like sage advice is make sure you attempt your movement your your one movement seven one turner with a movement six player <laughs> that's sage advice <laughs> if you if you're gonna try a one turn with a with a dark elf blitzer make sure it's your move busted one good will he re-roll i guess he has to with minimal turns left And that's some siege advice. <laughs> right, so conserve him with a blots and then a block, isn't it? So I need to power this guy first. Glorious. Ooh, this is a bit ris risky though, isn't it? Risque. If I go there, then the Blitz had better get him. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no, I can't do it with him. What about him? Yeah, he can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's gonna have to be the mighty blow guy. Block with block. Outrageous idea. He can't base, he's stunned, he's stunned. He can block him. I should have followed that, I guess. He can go there to make it harder for him to get a one dice or anything. Get him. Oh yeah. There you go. Not bad. <laughs> and then after you've made this monumental failure of going for a movement seven one turn with a movement six player. Make sure you make your title as clickbait as possible. <laughs> Spuriously claiming to have scored this said touchdown. <laughs> and with movement seven to boot. 
<laughs> oh, fruity bun, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's it is what it is, isn't it? It's like it's it's okay with not with not. There's nothing to play for, is there? With uh, this season, with there being no money on the line, so it's a lot easier to shrug off losses like that. Um, whereas if it was if it had been you know proper proper league, I'd have obviously been really fucking pissed off. But it's not really. Not really an issue, is it, with this? TBH fans, you can reach there. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, you can't. Go for a three dice blitz on. Did he reach him? No. Go for a three dice. Can he reach him? Yeah. Three dice blitz on this guy. With my equal armor rate. Fuck him up. Take him down to Pound Town. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Hello, nomadic jam. Yep, I knew it was turn eight, but I uh, gotta gotta get gotta get hits in, haven't you? Got the reroll, making blocks with block, surrounding this guy for a juicy gang foul. Um. Oh god, what a what a great touchdown foul this is. The only foul, the only time that a foul is when I'm fucking scoring. <laughs> oh, only a stun. Shada. Yeah, the TD foul. Oh no, man! You gotta get, you gotta get the fouls. In. It's, the, oh, it's the only time it's safe to foul. <laughs> How fucking stupid is that? <laughs> How fucking stupid! It's the only time it's actually safe to foul is turn sixteen. House rule. <laughs> <laughs> exploit. Nope. Nope, it's not an exploit. Clarified by Dode. It's a house rule. Thank you. Not an not an exploit at all. Oh god, that's amazing that his trolls out though, isn't it? That's good. Yeah, win more mechanics. It is what Blood Bowl needs. Yeah, it is. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. <laughs> exactly, it's a house rule. Oh, waiting for waiting for Cross Out Man to get back to me. Pretty cool if we could get some packs. Some packs for free. That'd be pretty good. No PI. <laughs> oh well, that would have been really good to start the second half, wouldn't it? But um not so good now.
Hey, let's go. Boo. Wow, double import export now. Newswire. The only thing is, double import export requires you actually play the game. The double gun running was pretty amazing. Getting double gun running was working. There's no playoffs this season, so I ain't glad. Um, there's no playoffs, which is why I'm going with Lizards and why I don't care that I got the, you know, super skink killed and everything. So about as good as usual for Lizards, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about as good as usual for Lizards. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's stupid that I've got to put the armor eight in harm's way, but... You know, I'm going to sack him after this game anyway, so... Has the real skin got a level in? Wow, so he, he's a he's a Kaz away from a level. And he's a Kaz away from a level. He's a Kaz away from a level. He's a Kaz away, but he's getting sacked. Because armor 8 sucks. Yep, it's just for lols. Good afternoon, VIP Kurgo. Oh, good. Yeah, I guess that's what I should have done. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true, but easier. I mean, this was just playing some games of Blood Bowl before, you know... Because I'm a pro streamer. <laughs> um, you know, got to play something, haven't I? You know, I, I guess I could have just not played anything. But there's 20 odd games I've been playing for a week, haven't I? A couple of weeks, so. Get back into the Blood Bowl, you know. Remind people I'm still alive in Blood Bowl. And then, um, yeah, do the do the beta test. And um, just do, you know, a few games of each team. Hail stays it is fruity bun. Um what's he called? Dode is quite adamant on that. But um you know what he says goes and there you go. His crony stuck up for him in the Discord, so <laughs> Zombie Jimmy likes to put <laughs> like uh, like the end of Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> probably I probably would. That's why I'm actually enjoying it again, it's because it's zombie Jimmy. <laughs> He's got a throw I didn't even pick up with him. Unbelievable, Jeff. Burnt a reroll. Burnt a reroll. Didn't 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 pick up with the throw. And burnt a reroll anyway. Try to hit him. Got to do it, haven't I? Hmm. 
I want to get bodies in so that see where it goes. Um, you know, where more chance of it scattering out and being better for me, isn't it? Gonna even re-roll it just because I've got the third one. Because I think a power there would have been really good, but there you go, obviously fucking fair. That's why I don't greed re-roll anyway. One of the many reasons why I don't greed re-roll. As a rule. Push would have been absolutely fine. Would have pushed them in all them guys. Both down way worse. Get a skin Kaz to do it. Sometimes I wish I was worse, you know, just to hit somebody. I don't know about that. It's not a not a not a not a stellar record. And everyone's fucking died. Wouldn't more than I've lost, but fucking hell. I'd expect that, wouldn't I? Wires are a bit cheaper, that's good. Let's buy 200. And another 200. Can't make a radiator. Can't make a radar detector.
No, he did well there, didn't he? Can I chain him in there, in there? Yep. No, I didn't need to stand him off. Shit. GFI. No, oh, that was really bad. Standing him up. He could have gone there. And now it's making this GFI as well. Bad enough that I've got to fucking make a Crocs, but. Not the end of the world. Hello, Inarian. Hello, Valenia. Fifty-eight on sale, twenty-four. Everyone's had the same idea as me with the radiators. <laughs> I guess I should build another powerful radar detector. Um, at eight forty-four. And then, and then after that, start building. But then the equalizers are four five five. Cheap scrap. Try to buy. No, oh, I can only buy 900. What's happening in the game? Of course, he picks it up. Oh, well, this guy standing up all of a sudden is alright, isn't it? I was going to pass it. Oh, of course he is. This, is. this is why this team isn't doing very well. 
just fucking dumb shit happening all the time, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably as far away from both of us. I do, yeah, Emperor Augustus is the stream fucking up, is it? Two, three, four, can one dice him away? Free him up. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GF down. I guess I just have to block some people. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I am. I am simultaneously playing, yeah, to an extent, playing three games, yeah. I mean, cross out, I'm just, just building things. the cross out done building building things is set in motion check on crusaders still insta killing very good check on the cross out email no reply yet Let's have a look at this twist. Let's have a look at this uh, this clip here from Sterling Club. If you feel like you really want a third vampire, you can choose to do so. Yeah, I think I do really want a third fucking vampire. What the fuck? And not too many rerolls to actually prevent having to use those rolls. It's a riskier build, but it does get used in three guys with strength four and Vampires have a huge range of skills available to them. But since Who the fuck off, is this guy? <laughs> that's a pretty good that's a pretty good clip. That's a pretty good clip. Wow. Two vamps is not okay. It's literally not okay. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> yeah, two's insane. 
that you can make arguments for three, four, and five, but you can't make arguments for two. You just can't unless, if you want to lose at Blood Bowl, pick a vampire team with two. In the same way as if you want a challenge and you want to play Wood Elves with no war dancer for some reason, you can. But there's no there's no competitive reason to ever pick two vampires. It's just it's just fucking stupid. To put it bluntly, it's just fucking stupid. That's it. Right, Blitz here. Well, stand him up first. Blitz him on three dice, get a pal, run around there, he blocks him, frees him, he goes and bases, and then I've got a chance to score myself, haven't I? Plus they're only armor eight, so it's really easy to lose one. I mean that's that to me is the biggest um you know, you're comparing it to two bull centaurs with more utility. Bull centaurs are at least armor nine with uh with thick skull, whereas vamps are only armor eight, aren't they? Indeed Kurgle, yeah. Yeah, I think you'd call it gold. Like you can you can argue for three vamps and you can argue for five vamps. I think four's kind of normal, but um, you can't argue for two vamps. Like I would rather take six vamps than two. Because at least you could just like, if you went with six vamps. There's games you just steamroll the people where you just didn't roll once. Like they'd be rare. <laughs> but there'd be there'd be times where your six vampire team was just fucking unbelievable. Whereas your two reroll vampire team is never gonna be fucking unbelievable. Yeah, exactly screwed dude. Fucking nothing there. That that fucking goblin's too powerful, isn't it? You're tying up the Saurus. Very good point, very good point. I stand corrected. I can one dice the ball here anyway with like two dodges. That's quite reasonable. And then obviously one dice can score. Three and five make for of course they do of course they do steve you can have one there and one there and one there in a boat so three and five absolutely make for nice symmetrical formations now he's in a pickle because he's got to mark this guy somehow hasn't he I do start, I start with the Beast of Nurgle. I do start with it. I just sack it 
later on. Alright, come on, don't fail. Bums fell around. Ah, why would you lie to her? It's just crazy talk. Who's ever done that in a game of Blood Bowl? The only person who'd wide set up would um would take two vamps. Right, this is a pretty amazing set of turns now, isn't it? Nah, nah. I, I would always start. Uh, I wouldn't always. I have started with it a lot. I usually start with a beast, just because at low TV it gives you three dice, mighty blow hits, doesn't it? Which is, which is what you have <laughs> going for you is like strength. So, maximizing the strength, I think, is is about all you can hope to do at low TV with me. Will he score this turn, or do you think he'll stall another one? I think he'll probably stall another one. It's a little bit risky, I guess. But, ah, you can face him. It's a little bit risky to stall another turn. Just when I'm comfortable, our Yeti, it, it's the same as um, it's the same as when you sack the Rat Ogre for the Skaven, isn't it? It's not like no hard and fast rule, or like sacking Skinks for Lizard Men. It's like <laughs> you know the only way to play is old flowers. Yeah, yeah. It just depends. It depends when you don't need him anymore. Just literally when you don't need him anymore, which is very subjective. It could be never. There you go. As um, as Steve thinks, it could be never. Yeah, not really depends what your TV to be. It depends whether you want him in max or... That's not what you want your TV. It depends whether you want... It depends whether you want reliability as well. It's just, you know, it's all... All, it all depends, doesn't it? You can't really make hard and fast rules, I don't think. Wow, GFI. Fucking mad cunt. not bad though is he? He's not bad. He's not bad at Blood Bowl unfortunately. But still he's going to have to score next turn. And then um, when he does it's going to be um, it's going to be bad times for him isn't it? Jammy bastard. Yeah, oh yeah, he, he can't try to win. I mean, he's limited by going for the win playing against a competent opponent, really. that That's enough. You know, there's no way he can realistically go for the win, even if he had the troll. You know, he hasn't he hasn't caused a million cars. Um, if he caused a million cars, then fair enough, he could go for the win, but he hasn't, so... What can he do, really? One dice.
cry about facing wizards, yeah. <laughs> You might, you might be able to get another turn of stall here. You might do. He's going to really want to, isn't he? Because a two turn is possible, whereas a one turn is pretty much not. So this is the most important turn for him to have to stall. Maybe I should have uh, blitzed that that blitzer and then base the ball. Gone for the mighty ball base might have been the play. One in nine, that's a good bet. Oh man, one in eighty one. Yeah, I think he'll still try and stall, eh? Because he's got he's got the skinks based up. Saurus based. Interesting, isn't it? I think it's too easy for me to make the dodges out. I think he, he probably should score here. I think it's too easy to dodge these kings out, even though they failed every f single fucking dodge they've made. I think it's easy to just dodge the skinks. Too easy to dodge the skinks out now. I think he'll score. Well, I think I think he should score. I think. Ballsy, ballsy move. This is just two one in nines to two dice the ball now. I think he's made a mistake. Probably won't fucking matter, of course. Getting an armor break there was good though, wasn't it? That was pretty lucky. That was pretty lucky. Not only getting the knockdown, but also getting the stun. Because knockdown wouldn't have mattered really, could have blocked him out and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then hit. I guess it's just down this Saurus Saurus uh, block now. How'd you gain Scions? Yeah, level up and then um, win. Win the champion's ladder is, is the main way. Yep, 
it, it's looking like the Sora storage. I mean, but I would have done, if he hadn't broken his armor, I would have obviously just gone Sora's block. He goes there, he goes there, he dodges around, and then it's an easy two dice. Yeah, you could buy them, yeah. You could buy them. You go here, don't have to push him into another block. Yeah, he got lucky there, didn't he? I mean, he he made his his uh, his thirty percent of power of the skink and then broke it. So he made a fifteen percent play, and I failed the fifty-five. Only because he got lucky, Steve. Only because he fucking got lucky. He got really lucky. I think it was a mistake. Personally, I think it was a mistake. Had he made that stun first, then fair enough. But he pretty much had to make that stop. <laughs> Even knocking him down was fine. One, two, three, four, five. I could have easily got two dice on him if he had just been knocked down. So. Yeah, that was horrible blitzing with a thrower. Could have won an 81. I mean, that, there's no argument with that blitz. Obviously, you should have blitzed without the blitzer then. Blitz without the blitzer. I think it was a mistake. 100%. I don't even think it was a mistake. It was a mistake. So I mean, well, no, you can argue that it wasn't. He should have made that block first to see if he powered the air skin. I think. Now, but then he used his reroll, hadn't he? So I guess he couldn't. It was interesting. The fact he'd used the reroll. If, he, if, he'd, if he'd stunned him first, then stalling's obviously fine because I'm either getting a one dice easily. Um, that's not a lot of one in nine dodges. Oh, do you know what? Just fuck off. Talk shit, get banned. There you go. Chat shit, get banned. Just fuck off. If you're going to be a cunt, fuck off. You can't see that was dumb as fuck. If you think that's a lot of one in nine dodges, if you think fucking two dodges is a lot, then you're a fucking idiot. It was two dodges with dodge. Fuck off. That's not a lot of fucking dodges. Some people, eh? <laughs> oh dear, right. So he blitzes him, pushes him, pushes him. Pushes him out to there. And he blocks, so this guy doesn't block. It wasn't an easy match, he got lucky. Got lucky with that bad, bad stall there. That was a bad, that was too risky. Oh, fuck off, Jimmy. Come on. Too lucky for me. <sighs> Is this possible? Yeah, funnily enough, it is. That was bad by bad of him, wasn't it? Eh? Can push him to there. 
But then there's no further pushes, is there? Could use the hole with him. I hate using the hole. But I guess it's has to happen. He blocks him, pushes him to there. But then where's the extra one? There isn't one. Maybe just push him back. And then push him out. Maybe that's the best bet. So if I had re-rolled it, he could have pushed him to there, then he could have pushed him to there, then he could have pushed him. So yeah, I could have done it if, I, if I'd fucking re-rolled it. he gets the MVP. that was a disaster thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic